from Shoppers Drug Mart. Like, okay, first I didn't think it was real at all. But it happened. So it came recently and I got a bunch of goodies. So I'm gonna share with you today what I got. So to start off, I am just gonna tell you that I bought a bunch of lippies. I was kind of lacking in that department, but I just didn't have like a lot of variety of colors. So that's where the majority of the makeup card went to. And to start off, I'll show you two of my favorite finds. So this is the L'Oreal Color Reach Balm, and it's SPF 15. So first off, I love that they're balms, and I love that they're SP they have SPF. And these two colors are absolutely adorable. This one here is my down right favorite. <laughs> it is the color 818 Norshi Nude. It's a beautiful nude pink color and it goes on. It just gives you enough little bit of pop of color. It's really, really moisturizing and it's not too out there pigmented or anything. So, but I, with these, I'm kind of glad. I kind of got a variety of different lip products. So, yeah. And here's the color. It's super cute. It's, uh, it looks darker than how it goes on. I have to do like a little swatch. I'm swatching stuff so my hands a little bit dirty, so. See, you can barely, I just swatched it right here. You can barely tell. It's just, it's really, really pretty. Like if you're going to the beach or if you just want something simple to put on. And the other color I got was 219 in Plush Plum. And this one's a little bit darker. So I'll swatch it right beside this one. And it, I find it is a little bit buildable. Like if you put a couple coats on, you can see the color a little bit more. So again, not drastically dark. They are a little bit sheer and sparkly. So really girly and I absolutely love these. The second set of lippies I got were from Revlon. And okay, first of all, these attract me. I have been looking at these for like ever in the drugstore and I think they were so cute. They're just like, little fat pencils or something and they're pink so anything shiny and pink for some reason just draws into it um so first off I got the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm and it is an elusive 205 elusive very pretty pink color and I'll just swatch this over here so there's that I find it almost like a rosy or a dusty rose color and I love how it comes in like a pencil shape and they're like the retractable or you can just move them up so no sharpening or anything and I think mean, that's such a pretty really pink color. The second one I was looking for something that had a little bit more of like a berry color or like purple to it so this color whimsical was perfect for that. It's not too out there. It's sheer and shimmery and it's a little bit darker and it's similar to like Berry, kind of like a berry color. And it's a little bit sheer too, like a gloss. So I really, really, really like that. So this is a second swatch. And again, this video doesn't do these justice because, well, I don't have the perfect lighting and everything, but these are such, they're, all of these are such pretty colors. This one here I had to grab because, first of all, the the packaging <laughs> like it looks like a ballerina pink and it's so pretty I mean just to have it laying there is just cute I think which is horrible but no the color itself it is a lip bird demure and I'll just do a swatch right here so you can barely barely see it. it's just like enough baby pink color and it's a little bit shimmery so there's that one, and I think all three of these are just beautiful and simple colors, and they seem like they would be quite moisturizing. So those are the three I got in the Revlon. Oh, and these ones, this one was a, the matte balm, and these are lacquer balms. So those are my Revlon. The next two of these I got are from Maybelline, and these are the new vivids. First of all, packaging again, it attracted me because I just. I find these colors so neat and just, I don't know, I just really, really like the packaging. They're just cute. And the two colors I got was Fuchsia Flash and Vivid Rose. So 
Again, how I mentioned how I didn't really want to get too drastic of bold colors, but these two attracted me because, I don't know, I just wanted to try something different and these are a little bit more pigmented than the bombs that I've been showing you. So this one here, Fuchsia Flash, this one reminds me of Candy Yum Yum by MAC. It's, I think there was one there that was a little bit closer to Candy Yum Yum, but um, I thought I would give this one a try because it's similar and I have tried Candy Yum Yum on and it went actually surprisingly really good on, or looked really good on me. It just, it made my blue eyes pop too, which is crazy. Um, and I kind of kicked myself for not getting it, but I don't know, I just didn't think that I would wear it out a ton. Maybe in the summer and on vacation and stuff like that, definitely. So that's why I picked this one up and it's really, really cute. It's like that bubblegum fuchsia pink. So there's that swatch right there. Super pretty, so I'm really excited to try these. I haven't tried, well I've tried the uh, Colorish Bombs on, but I haven't tried these ones yet. So I'm really excited to do like some neat looks with these colors and just kind of get out there and try something different, right? This color here, I swatched and I had to go back to the store because this one just stuck to me for some reason. It's just, like, do you ever see like a color of something and it doesn't even have to be makeup or anything, but the color of it, it just, it's just like, I don't know, it just draws you to it. I don't know, this color here, I saw it and I was like, I gotta get this color. It's like a pinky, pinky red, I don't know, and it's quite sheer. If you just put one coat on, it's quite sheer, so it's kind of buildable. So it's this color right here. It's a little bit darker, it's not as fuchsia, and I, this one is Vivid Rose. So like I said, it's sort of like that ready um, pink, I don't know, I just, I love that color. And uh, the last set of lippies that I bought, of course, because they're finally in Canada, are the Maybelline Dr. Baby Lips. And okay, first of all, packaging is adorable, absolutely the packaging love the packaging. Um, all the other baby lips are cute. I wasn't a huge fan of the neons. I have tried the regular, but when I bought the one in the regular, it wasn't really my color and it, and it kind of bled and I don't know, I wasn't impressed and the taste of it just wasn't, no. But these guys are a win for me. I absolutely love these. I'm wearing this right now. My lips are a little bit dry so they might look a little bit flaky. Bad me, I know. Um, but this color is in Just Peachy, and it's like a simple nude color. It's not too nude, and it doesn't cover up so much so that it dry, like, I don't know, makes you look dead. <laughs> so, but these are so cute and moisturizing, and they're the medicated, so it kind of has that bit of smell to it, but it's not, it's, it's not too bad. Definitely perfect for the winter or perfect for moisturizing once you get out of the shower or anything. And I love that they're a little bit of pop of color. The other color I bought myself was the Berry Soft color. So Berry Soft, so I got like the berry, it's like a new berry. And for my giveaway that's coming up, I bought this one to go in with it and it's Pink Me Up. It's a really girly pinky color, it's like bubble gum, so keep your eye out. I will be doing a giveaway soon. I'm just picking and collecting things kind of thing, like hoarding. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna happen though, so this will definitely be in there. Excited! The next set of things are for the eyes and your eye area. It's the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Serum with Grow Lash Complex and it supports with natural growth for lashes and brows. So, it looks kind of neat and this is what it looks like. So it has a part here for your eyelashes and then a tip is for your brows. So I guess it's supposed to keep your lashes and brows healthy and promote growth, I guess? Let's see. Uh, it says lashes look longer and fuller and brows look fuller and filled in. Around the clock conditioning and fortifying gel helps to support healthy lash and brow growth. So. Wear under mascara and non-mascara days as an overnight treatment or to fill in sparse brows. So it's kind of cool actually, but I'm excited. I just kind of picked it up, I'm like this is new, why not? And then I was running out of liquid eyeliner and I absolutely love the pen eyeliners. So I tried 
tried this one in the summer. Um, you've probably seen me using it a couple times in my videos. And it's the Essence Eyeliner Pen and it's extra long lash it, lash, lashing. Extra long lasting. And they are extra long lasting, guys. The one I had, I've had it for a couple months now and it's just starting to dry off. And these are really awesome because they're nice and thin and they give like the perfect precision and they're actually really cheap and not cheap as in they don't do a good job. I think I only paid, they're like a dollar something or two dollars each and they're awesome and it doesn't come off, it doesn't like dry up and chip or anything so I actually absolutely love these. Essence has some really cool stuff. And for the face, I actually, I wanted to try, I've seen this in like almost every Beauty Guru's um, videos and um, I really wanted to try this, the Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind Eraser, Dark Spot Eraser with Vitamin C and it's a concealer and treatment and it instantly erases visibility and diminishes look of, of diminishes the look of dark spots. So I went ahead and bought one of these. Okay, seriously though, the little sponge guy at the top, that's pretty much why I wanted to buy this because it just looks cute and it looks like it would feel cool and it just seems soft and um, gentle. So I'm going to give this a try. I have not used it, but I have seen the results of a lot of others using it. So I'm excited. And the other two things for the face I got, okay. I'm sorry, they, okay, I didn't get these ones at Shoppers. I actually picked these up at Target, but I was just walking by and I wasn't really looking to get anything. And I saw these on sale for $1.79, guys. And it's the Ramel Clean Finish Foundation. And it says, look 100% poreless and it has vitamins A and E. Perfect at $1.79 each, guys. I mean, you can't go wrong. So I'm hoping this will be a pretty good cover up. I've never used this kind. I don't know if, I don't even know if I've used the Rimmel cover up. I think I use Almay's. But really excited. So that's what I found for my face. Again, that was at Target and not Shoppers. And lastly, okay, I decided to pick up this Olay Pro X Microdermabrasion and Advanced Cleansing System. So here it is. It looks a lot like the Clarisonic. So, what I thought I would do, since this is on sale for an amazing deal and I could just get it for a gift card, I'm going to try out this baby and see what it does to my skin and how I like it and if it does wonders, I might commit to getting a Clarisonic. So all this for $32, it comes with the machine and two heads and two types of cleansers. So, in all, that's a pretty awesome deal, guys. I couldn't pass that up. I just kept seeing it, I'm like, I don't know, it's similar to Claire Sonic, but do I want it? But I mean, I had a gift card, so I was like, I'm gonna go for it and try it. Basically, that is the conclusion of my drugstore haul. And I've got tons of awesome lippies. I'm so excited to try them, I can't wait. But yeah, so that's my haul guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, thumbs it up and share. Don't forget to share. And I will see you in my next video. Talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.